Sanjay, I had the pleasure of meeting yesterday a very interesting entrepreneur um, working on a fascinating problem, uh, AI for early detection of breast cancer. Please welcome Sanjay. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, my name is Sanjay Khabragade. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Neura Health. Uh, it's a five-month-old startup based out of Philadelphia. Um, thanks for the opportunity to present me here. So in US, around 40 million uh, mammograms are conducted every year. One woman or a woman is diagnosed of breast cancer every three minutes. And a woman dies of breast cancer every 13 minutes. So breast cancer is considered to be the second leading cause of cancer-related cause of death for women in the US. Mammogram is considered to be the first early uh, screening um, to detect the breast cancer. However, false positive rate costs around $3 billion, in addition to all the anxiety that brings uh, along going through this um, mammography procedure and the screening procedure. In developing countries like India, there's just one radiologist per 100,000 people. Uh, whereas uh, in US, it's 10 times higher. One in two women um, diagnosed of breast cancer does not survive. Only 66% live past beyond five years after their diagnosis compared to 90% in US, Australia, and other Western countries. Neura Health is working towards these kind of challenges and Breast cancer is considered as the first, uh, as the risk factor um, in the breast cancer detection. And so we have built a product called Neura Detect, which detects the breast density from mammography images. It's able to detect across all four classes, class A, class B, class C, and class D. Particularly, it's very difficult for radiologists to consistently uh, distinguish between class B and class C, uh, which are scattered dense and heterogeneously dense um, from those mammography images. And our uh, neuro detect is able to uh, detect with an accuracy of 90 plus percent. We see neuro detect to be used, uh, of course, in, uh, by a radiologist uh, in a hospital setup or by independent imaging um, facility but also uh, for remote areas where there's not enough trained radiologists. Or um, in a direct-to-consumer model, just to get a second opinion, uh, where the patient has those uh, images and they could upload to the NeuraHealth website where the result would be given to them. Or it could also be uh, made available in developing countries where there's not enough radiologists to serve the population. So it's built to run on uh, cloud. Uh, particularly, we have used, we have built this on Google Cloud, um, where the images could be uploaded uh, and the inference happens within minutes uh, in real time, as well as it conforms to the DICOM standards, which stands for the Digital um, Imaging Transfer and Storage Solution um, Standards. So it's compliant with that, and it's built on the recently released Google Healthcare APIs. Um, so they have the FHIR, the HL7, and the DICOM standards compliancy. Uh, so we have used that. Um, so it lets us, uh, for a small startup team like ours, to not worry about setting up IT healthcare infrastructure uh, to build such kind of product. Uh, it integrates seamlessly with the existing clinical workflow. So in this case, uh, the images could directly be uploaded to NeuraHealth's cloud um, for using a DICOM router. Uh, from the modality, and um, the inference happens in cloud. Um, in um, the images go to healthcare or uh, Google Health Store, and the inference happens against the Neuro Detect AI engine, and then the results are saved as one of the DICOM tags in a structured report uh, in the healthcare store. And those same images could come back to the uh, clinical workflows through that same DICOM router. So we were able to accomplish this uh, using publicly image, uh, publicly available data sets um, from the Cancer Imaging Archive um, called CBIS DDSM. It's a curated breast imaging subset of the digital database screening mammography. 
So it consists of 10,000 images, uh, highly curated and annotated by world-renowned radiologists like uh, from Stanford. And uh, we applied a transfer learning using Inception V3 algorithm uh, along with that. FDA considers this to be a class two medical device. Uh, we are planning to do some testing with the algorithm in a clinical setting and submit those results uh, to get the 510K clearance. Uh, we're planning to do that in 2020. In addition to, to the breast density, we are looking to have a breast um, cancer detection directly from mammography images in future, uh, as well as the BIRADS classification. So we are a small team for now. Um, I'm looking at the data and the machine learning pipeline building that. Uh, I have uh, Neha who is building the web application uh, using um, building the web interface for the AI model. And then uh, we have Dean joining us uh, in a medical advisor com uh, capacity. He is a board certified uh, fellowship trained diagnostic radiologist. Uh, who has uh, exclusively practiced in breast imaging for the last 15 years of his 30-year career, uh, career. We are looking to uh, in expand the team um, to enhance our AI model, uh, build new products, as well as um, add new features to the web application. Uh, so we are looking for investors uh, who would care about the cause, um, as well as our efforts, and would be willing to back us up uh, with, their, um, with their funding. Thank you. Yeah, so I think there are a bunch of um, distinguishing things that we are doing. First of all, um, the compliant aspect of it, the regulatory aspect of it. So uh, having our solution built on top of Google Healthcare APIs, I think it uh, solves that uh, variable. Uh, secondly, the inference is uh, like real time. Um, and uh, the third one is one of our markets we are targeting is uh, in developing countries like India and also possibly uh, in Africa. And I haven't seen anybody like in that space or in those countries uh, working um, with this kind of uh, accomplishments yet. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, the inception is used just for uh, capturing some of these weights uh, to capture the features. Um, so uh, yesterday there was a talk by Christoph Geras uh, regarding what they are doing at NYU to, um, for this same um, problem. And uh, they had used NYU's 200,000 database, uh, 200,000 images from their own NYU Medical School. And what they saw was with, even with one person, they were able to get the same kind of result uh, as the 200,000. So all of the features they were captured just with uh, 2,200 um, 2, images. And so ours, in my case, it's uh, 3,000. So what I'm trying to say is that uh, Inception is just gives that initial weights where to start from, and then with the subset that we used, we were able to achieve the result, the outcome. Um, we can talk offline uh, if that's okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjay.